When it comes to investing, blue chip stocks are considered as the chicken that lays golden eggs. They offer stability in a volatile market and also manage to give regular dividends of up to 5% in some cases. The initial purpose of having these stocks in your portfolio is to give your investments a life jacket so that you could feel safe and have peace of mind while investing in small cap stocks. Hence, here are three super stable blue chip stocks that also offer decent dividend yields. This is not a stock buying recommendation. Please do your own due diligence. This video is for educational purposes only. Number 1. ITC Limited Number one on the list is ITC Limited. With over biannual dividend yields regularly for the past five years, there have hardly been any financial reporting with declining profits. The company owns popular brands like Sunfeast, Ashirwad, Yippie, Classmate, and many more. Having a market cap of 4,65,000 crore rupees, the stock trades at around 374 rupees with one year lowest price of 243 rupees. The company has around 36,000 employees and is being led by Mr. Sanjeev Puri as the Chairman and Managing Director of The Big Giant. From a financial perspective, ITC Limited generates income in several thousands of crores. Over the past three years, ITC Limited has had an increasing revenue of over 10,000 crore rupees. Despite being a blue chip company, ITC Limited has higher than industry revenue growth of around 7% year on year basis compared to 6% of its competitors. ITC Limited is also one of the few companies that has a market share of over 93% in the consumer goods industry. Second on the list is Reliance Industries Limited. As of 2023, Reliance Industries has its footprints in the telecom, chemical manufacturing, textile, and the list goes on forever. The business was founded by Mr. Dhirubhai Ambani, the father of tycoon Mukesh Ambani, in the late 1950s, about 73 years ago. And in these 73 years, Reliance Industries has created more than 3.5 lakh jobs and a skyscraper mansion in the city of Mumbai. The company owns many subsidies, including Geo Savan, Reliance Life Insurance, Reliance Petroleums, and other names we've never heard of. From a financial perspective, Reliance Industries has a stable valuation throughout. Its price in the past five years has grown from 875 to 2856, which is a 150% increase. With respect to market cap, the company is ranked number one. From a financial perspective, the company has a higher industry revenue growth, an increasing market share and an increasing net income. What else can you ask for? The revenue has now grown to a point that the digits are almost double to triple than the numbers in your phone number. This year's revenue for the company is expected to be around 8 to 9 lakh crore rupees. The company also has a decent history of dividend yields in the past 4 to 5 years. Moving next on the list we have Number 3. Infosys Limited India Founded by Mr. Narayan Murthy back in 1981 in a small apartment in Pune, Infosys is now a giant in IT outsourcing and consulting business. Mr. Narayan Murthy has countless times stated that the key reason for his success was him being used to hardships throughout his childhood. I have grown up in a house of eight children with father being mostly a teacher. So we were not unduly worried about hardship. As of 2023, Infosys Limited makes dozens of acquisitions in its industry throughout the globe. As of 2019, around 60% of the revenue comes from business operations in the United States, 24% in Europe, 3% in India, and the rest of the 13% from other parts of the world. The company also has around 200 offices in total around the world, providing employment to over 3.3 lakh people. Moving on towards the chart, overall the stock offers a stable growth trajectory. In the past five years, the stock has grown from 509 rupees to a highest price of almost 2,000 rupees per share. With respect to the market cap, the company is the sixth largest public company in India. The analyst rating of ticker tape also suggests the stock is a great buy overall. From a financial standpoint, the company has seen a consistent growth in net profit and revenue regardless of how gigantic it has now become. In the IT industry, Infosys has a 20% market share and presence and a higher revenue growth than its peers. Comparing Infosys directly with its peers will not be a smart choice to do since the size of revenue generated by Infosys and other companies is also way bigger than we can imagine. But for the sake of it, we can see here that HCL Technologies offers a better dividend yield and is also relatively lower priced. So there you have it. Three stocks that offer stability and long-term growth potential. If you had to choose between Infosys and Reliance Industries, which one would you choose and why? Answer in the comments below. Till then, don't forget to watch our video on the psychology of money by Morgan Housel, a famous name in financial literature. We'll see you in the next video. Omega Finance signing out.